friends, we're gonna work with our spindle boxes today. Now I know you don't have these at home. We just have them at school, but I'm gonna show you what they look like. This is a spindle box. Um, the first box is zero through four, and then the second box is five through nine. Um, we use this in our math curriculum for quantity work and one-to-one -one correspondence. And what we use to put inside these are our spindles. These are little wooden spindles that we use um, for this job. And if you're going to make this job at home, it's super easy to remake. So first, all you'll need is a piece of paper and a marker to make your sections. So this is my first box. I have zero through four. And I just used a Sharpie and a ruler to make the lines straight. And then what you'll need for the spindles is anything that represents the shape of a spindle. So this could be a marker, it could be um, some sort of silverware, it could be a colored pencil, maybe a long crayon, um, a Q-tip, anything that can represent um, the size of a spindle. And so I have my first box here, and then I also have my second box here as well. So I can work with the first and the second box to do the whole spindles. Now again, this is another job where you need 45 things. So if you can find 45 things that represent the shape of a spindle, you can do this job at home. Okay, I hope you enjoy and I can't wait to see what you come up with with your spindles. Bye.